Welcome to a Blender 4.0 particle simulation tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can simulate millions of particles quickly and render them in seconds. I'll also show you a trick for how to make fake motion blur that will speed up your renders by about 10 times at the end of the video. I've condensed all this down into a node group that you can download from my Gumroad link in the description and on the screen right here. This node group is easy to use, just make a mesh and drag it in and you can use that as your emitter and then you should just immediately have a preset that creates sort of a magical particle effect. So if you'd like to learn how to build this setup yourself, let's get right into it. I'm just going to start with the cube, call it particle system, and then I'm going to make a new geometry node setup and delete the input. I'm going to pin that and then I'm going to add a UV sphere to be our emitter object and drag that into geometry nodes. Make it relative and then I need to instance particles on this surface. So drag out geometry and make a distribute points on faces. And then I'm going to make a simulation node, simulation zone. Let's join geometry into the simulation zone and plug the output into the output. And now if we go, oh, I need a timeline, so drag this up add. And if you play back, it seems like nothing's happening. We're just getting a bunch of particles built up on top of the same spot. So make a scene time node. And we're going to change the seed of this distribute points on faces per frame so we get randomized locations. And now you've got a particle system. The end. We're done. Actually, uh, what if you want to add forces? Let's add a directional force that just shoots them upward. Make a set position node. Offset on the Z axis. And now we've got particles doing their thing. What if I want to do more forces. What if I want all the particles to come off in the direction of the normal of this object? Well, in order to do that, I need to save the normals of this mesh. So I'm going to make a store named attribute node. And it's going to be float point and I'm going to plug a normal node into the value. Actually, it'll be a vector point. And we'll call this call this normal. Now if we take a named attribute node, make it into a vector and type in normal, we can plug that into the offset and we should get the particles flying out in the direction of the normal. We can combine multiple forces just by adding them. So I'm going to make a vector node And I'm going to make a vector math node. And I'm going to add these together. And I also want to reduce the amount of the normal power. So I'm just going to duplicate this vector math node and make this a uh, scale. And then I can scale it down to like a tenth of what it was. I'm also going to turn off the viewport overlay. And then if I wanted to move in a direction as well, I can just add this Z value in here. What if I wanted a uh, random noise? So make another, duplicate this, and I'm just going to make a noise node, noise texture node, and plug color into a vector math node. And I need to add a value of negative 0.5 to this so it'll offset it in all directions. And then we're just gonna add that into there as well. And now we've got a uh, noise. And I'm just going to duplicate this scale so we can increase the noise power or decrease it as we want. Let's turn off the normal and the z-axis. I think this noise is really small. So I want to make it 4D and then I'm going to make it scale like 1. And the strength of this noise is probably too high. The noise is just a static force right now. We need to phase it and that can be done with this W value. So make a scene time node and plug seconds into W and then it should phase fully every second every 24 frames and then we can add in our forces again 
maybe 0.4, and then maybe we can turn up our noise value. And now you start to get something like fiery. To mess with the phase of your noise, let's just make a math node and multiply by two. Now the noise is phasing quite a lot faster. Next, I'm gonna give my particles a lifetime. So we need to store that data in each particle. Let's make a capture attribute node, drop that in. And I'm going to drag this attribute out and make a math node and add a value of one. So on each frame, we'll be adding a value of one to each point. Plug that into the output and I'm gonna call this age. Now for the simulation input, drag the age value back into the capture attribute node and we've made a loop. To delete particles over a certain age, just make a delete geometry node. And then make a compare node. Plug the result into selection and plug the attribute into A. I want to vary the lifetime randomly, so make a random value node. Plug that into B. And then I'm gonna set my maximum frames to 20 and my minimum to five. Next, I'll show you the motion blur trick that makes fake fast rendering motion blur. Let's plug vector into simulation output. And then I need to instance an object on each one of these particles. So instance on points and then make a cone. Set vertices to 3, fill type to none, and drop the mesh into instance. And then I'm going to make it a lot smaller and make the depth like 0.2. Now I want to align these into their direction of travel. And I can do that using this vector information. So drag that out and make an align Euler to vector in the vector input. And it's just gonna take the vector information and turn it into a rotation value we can use. And we wanna do it on the Z axis, plug rotation into rotation, and now we have them aligned. To render these in a cool way, it's really a matter of making them very small and rendering a lot of them. So let's make this 0.0001 tiny and then I'm going to turn up the number a lot so let's make like 5,000 of them it's gonna get slow pretty quickly and if you try to pan around in your viewport it's gonna get chuggy so I want to display these in a way that my viewport just doesn't break I'm going to make a switch node Plug that in here and first I'm going to turn this off because it's lagging and I'm going to make an is viewport node so if we are in the viewport rather than the render view this switch will be true and if it is true we want to use the original points that render quick and then I'm going to turn this back on and once we hit render it will switch to these instances. For the particle shader, just go into the shader tab, make a new one, call it particle shader. And I'm just gonna make this an emission shader, strength of like 10, and change the color to a nice orange color. And now I'm going to set material in geometry nodes and pick that material. Now let's hit F12 and see what happens. And as you can see, we've got some fiery looking particles. I'm gonna make them even smaller. So add an extra zero in there, maybe half as small, Let's see what happens. And it's starting to look like a softer, fiery looking effect. One final tip is once you get a bunch of particles, make sure you bake it out before you render it because it won't render right unless it's cached. And that's how to do a quick particle simulation in Blender.